We're now going to cover some geometric concepts in Rn. So, for example, we've talked about graphing vectors in Rn as a line segment connecting the origin to a point. Well, that line segment has a length. So we can talk about the length of vectors, stuff like that. In this video, we're going to define something called the dot product. We can take the dot product of two vectors in Rn. The dot product of two vectors is a number. So you see the word product, but this is pretty fundamentally different from when we learn to multiply two matrices matrices, for example, and we find that the product of two matrices is another matrix. The dot product of two vectors is a completely different type of object. Let's illustrate the dot product via example. Let's take the dot product, which is appropriately written as a dot of 1, 2, 3, and 0, negative 3, 6. Take the dot product, we go down and we multiply component-wise. 1 times 0 is 0. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 6 times 3 is 18. And then we add all of these numbers together. The dot product of these two vectors is 12. Now, I've said, and it's true, that a dot product is kind of fundamentally different from regular multiplication, where you multiply two numbers and you get a number, or matrix multiplication, where you multiply two matrices and get a matrix, you multiply two vectors and you get a completely different type of object. Having said that, However, the dot product does have some properties that we would expect multiplication to have. In fact, in a sense, it has better properties than matrix matrix multiplication, we've seen one type of multiplication that isn't commutative, but the dot product is u dot v equals v dot u. The dot product distributes over addition in the way that we are used to multiplication, distributing over addition, 
just as with other types of multiplication we have seen in this class, we can move scalars around. So if we have a dot product that looks like this, we can move the scalar so that it's attached to the V instead of the U, or we could move the scalar completely out of the dot product. Finally, unlike make matrix multiplication, we have a zero product property. And we also have the intuition that anything squared ought to be a positive. Well, I need to rephrase that exact. Um, we don't exactly have the zero product property. What we do have is the zero product property in the special case where we have a matrix dot producted with itself. U dot U is always non-negative. There's our intuition about squaring. And u dot u equals zero if and only if u is the oops is the zero vector.